The BIQ is a residential building, uh, about 1,700 square meters of living area. It's around uh, 15 flats in that building. And we cover this building with 200 square meters of bioenergy facade. The bioenergy facade is more or less, you can imagine like, a, well, like an isolation window. It's, it's glass layers and in, within these glass layers, we have culture medium that is water and in the water, algae grow. And they use the sunlight coming from outside, hitting the facade, and then they grow with that light coming in. So it's a solar system. It's like photovoltaics, a solar thermal heat. The microalgae themselves is a product you can get in every shop. It's a product that's used for health food, it's used for cosmetics, it's used for fish food. It's a product already present in many other products, feed and food, both. And the bioenergy facade is the next step where we say we make urban areas productive with respect to not only energy, by photovoltaics or solar thermal, uh, heat, but also by biomass, by producing biomass in urban areas. And the facade is an area which is really a huge area which is not used until now. You have windows in the facade, but many areas of buildings are not used for anything. They are blank. And to, you, to make use of these areas, we have developed the bioenergy facade. And with the bioenergy facade, we produce both heat and biomass. And the heat we use to supply the buildings with heat and warm water. And the biomass is an extra product which is used for feed and food. Bioenergy facade panels are not a secondary facade. That is not. That means that the, the facade is not before mounted before the wall, but it is the wall. Like the window, the bioenergy facade is integrated with the windows and the doors, completely covering that building. So that is also a big step forward that we do not attach something to a building, but. It is an integral part of the building. It has become an integral part of the building now. And what we also did that we have a very sophisticated automated logic control so that we can really make use of the heat to supply the house with heat and warm water and that it all runs automatically. You do not need manual action. It works really automatically. And that is crucial to any system that you want to market on a large scale. A building is not only something where you offer rooms where to live in or to stay in and to be protected against the outside. To be. But there is a building is a really such such a costly thing to build up a building with so much infrastructure, water, electricity, wastewater treatment, and so on. You should use that building not only to live in but also to to produce something with it. And that is, I think, the the, the thinking that should be established in the future.